Like, tell me about your first day. How was it? Like the introduction. You know, you come here, uh, you'll get you know five languages falling in your ear. You don't understand the shit mm. that's going on, and you know you get to meet people from all over India. You know, as far as Assam to, you know, even after coming here, I realized that there are four different languages within South. Mm. I was knowing this this one or two languages. I was I was not knowing that you know this. such broad distinction okay. and you know there's such broad competition <laughs> among the languages oh. so the, how was your first day so what happened was like it was on 31st july 2019 hmm. i arrived on campus with my parents and i came with a very anxious and excited heart you know like how amazing are these next four years going to be hmm. and you know this seemed like an amazing dream which is becoming a reality and so on so the first day what happened was we had to come uh, we arrived at the academic block and all i could see is uh, there was so many cars so many uh, taxis and there were so many parents and there's the children and all i could see was i looked around them and there were people from different places speaking different languages and it was it was very unique to me and it was scary to me at the start because i came from tamil nadu where we spoke tamil or english hmm. majorly tamil so it was it was a bit shock to me i'm like oh my god there are so many people this is exciting but scary at the same time and then all the processes happened and then we had our induction program hmm. so it was it was an amazing thing i look around and i see a bunch of people boys and girls different different races even people coming from abroad and it was such a like a breath taking moment knowing that i see i get to live in this culturally diverse and exclusive hotspot mm. now you are in how do you you know explore the activities the student activities oh and were you excited of course everybody is excited everybody in the beginning excited, yeah I I love to interact. I love to uh, interact with a lot of people. Mm. Even though I did not speak most of the languages, I I spoke to everyone in English. Yeah. And then I made sure that I would not. I, I know I'm in computer science, right? So I'm like I would not study physics and chemistry. So I told myself I'm not going to study physics and chemistry. It's not going to help me in the future. Mm. So I'm I'm going to take part in every cultural club, mm. every technical club, and I'm going to, you know. Studies is only f- less than fifty percent. Everything else is more this experience. Ah, so when you realize it's less than twenty. <laughs> less than twenty. <laughs> yeah, the studies, right? Yeah. So what I did was I signed up. When they send the forms, since we're a new IIT, there was this leniency that you could. There's no strict yeah. regulation yeah. in which they screen you to get into it's the club. Still not there. It's still not there. Yeah. But we will eventually get there. I'm hopeful of yeah. it. See, there should be competition, right? It's competition. not there. <laughs> yeah. So I was. So that was a good opportunity, which mm-hmm. allowed me to. be part of every single club robotics tac uh, uh yacc then uh, curtain call and i was part of akshar and so many many more clubs cu- culture clubs and this gave me an opportunity to get exposure to a lot of clubs so what it was i'm like i'm going to take everything and i'm going to test them out properly for a couple for a couple of months to one two semester and the ones i like i will stick to it and then you know slowly slowly specialize in what i like and some of the things i did was people are very supportive we had certain courses which are oriented towards you know promoting uh, innovation and so on so this uh, this helped me you know get into this there was a young innovators program kerala yeah. i took part in that uh, in the competition with a couple of 8 to 9 members and we took up an existing project which our seniors worked on which got a gold medal in the entire day technique so we took that project and we built up on the next stages and we went to yip then after that petrio 20 oh. 2020 right yeah 2020 uh-huh. i'll tell you what happened after petrio also so what happened was came for sem 2 uh-huh. we had petrio petrio was It was hyped as another techno cultural fest of IIT Palakkad, huh. and it's one of the biggest fests in the in in South uh, India, in the South India uh. or in this you know nearby places. And this was pretty you know boasted. So I'm like, let's see how Petrigor is. Huh. And then honestly, it was breathtaking. Petrigor was very fun. Uh, I was I was I volunteered in many clubs in Petrigor. Oh. I mean, a part of many committees. And as a volunteer, first year you can only be a volunteer. Yeah. And the vibe of you know students coming together and pull off something on a huge scale 
was was pretty amazing because that's the first time I've experienced a college fest like that. Hmm. But before that, I went to cultural meet and I went to NIT Kerala fest. So compared to them, it was not that big. Yeah, of course. It, but then it takes time. It takes time. But then within our capacity, we pulled off something. Yeah, even this is pretty good. The twenty three, I never expected it to be this good. Huh. Yeah. Was, you know, it took me by surprise. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Then after Petri, you know the most interesting part. Oh, okay. Here comes the most. Yeah. Be be as informal as you just explain everything. So, like I said, at the starting, I said that people spoke different languages, right? Yeah. And people were looking for people speaking their language. Similar language. Uh, Similar same language. language. So this there started being some kind of a groupism, or you can say regionalism. But it, it is natural, right? If someone speaks your language, you probably come from the same state. You probably will have similar culture. You feel so attracted. It's probably more easier to relate with them. Yeah, that is understandable. Yeah. But the problem comes when you are only restricted to them, and you isolate people who are different from you. Coming to a place like IIT, filled with diverse people, if you have a closed mind in which you only mingle with people speaking your language, that is a minus for you. That's a loss mm-hmm. for you. So we started seeing a lot of groupism. Yeah. Back then, Hindi people were almost 30 percent. Uh, Malu people were almost 30 percent, mm-hmm. and the Telugu speaking group was almost 30 percent. And 10 percent so, miscellaneous. Miscellaneous, <laughs> including people like me, ah. me, Tamil Nadu people, ah. and yeah, exa- uh, foreigners, etc. Like that. What all things will you miss since we're leaving? Mainly the people are miss. That's the thing you would miss. It's not about the place, but it's more about the people you're with. And people, how they are related to places. Yeah, people. I think IIT is the thing I would miss because IIT is the only institution which could which could have host such variety of people. Yeah. So specifically, if you want me to tell you about IIT Palakkad. I would miss the hostel life completely. You know, it's like a sleepover every night. Your friends yeah. are here in the next room in your room. Mm. And those sleepovers, those yeah. late night walks. Yeah, but in the campus is also sleepovers. But in the campus, without also, taking permission. Without taking permission, like we, like an illegal immigrant, <laughs> stay there. That's pretty fun. And then you know the, the parties people have, which are not allowed as per the institutions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even though I do not indulge in such activities, you're missing a lot. I, I still party with them. Uh-huh. I party with them, but I do not party with them. You understand uh-huh. what I'm saying, uh-huh. right? I party with them, but I don't party with party them. Party with them. So that's what I do. So, uh-huh. and then complete, uh, and you know, fooling around, doing stuffs which would technically deserve a lot of IDCs, but mm-hmm. which which goes under the radar. Because Notably, like bursting crackers in uh-huh. in the hostel room. <laughs> like those are one of the, some of the things, fun things we do. When we have those festivals and we yeah. all come together dressed very fashionably, Holy, and all these things, yeah. that is very beautiful. And we equally celebrate everyone's culture, right? I think that is something which is phenomenal here. Mm. That is absolutely amazing. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. I'll miss you. I'll miss you too. Thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to talk yeah. about life mm. and my journey. Yeah. I think mm. I think you are going to be you go, you finish your second year, right? Yeah. So yeah, you are only two years left, and two years moved yeah. so fast, moved so fast. Can't even get a hold of it. Where it's going? Mm, luckily, you'll have two more years of campus life. So yeah, and, not COVID. And you're a very active person, so I'm sure you will really enjoy it. And next, okay. next you will be here, and there will be someone else interviewing you. I don't want to be in that position, but yeah, it will be there. I right know that's how it is. Hmm. Ultimately, you have to die <laughs> one day or the other. <laughs> so everything has a start and an end. 